Good morning everybody and welcome to Vancouver Island Bushcraft. I got myself a little stove. I know, another one. But this is one of those little tiny ones, you know, that goes into, into the stoves themselves, the little burners. I'm not sure what they're called. But the reason why I got this particular one is because it came with a uh, small stand. So I've dug out the homemade stove that I have, the uh, copper one that goes inside the stove, and I'll show you the new one and how they work with the stand. I bought three of the new ones because uh, I wanted three of the stands. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look. Well, here she is. This is the stove itself, which is kind of cool. I got some fuel in it, so I can't really move it around too much. A um, little bit bigger than the other one, but came with this really cool stand. So this stand just comes apart and obviously easy to store and put the stove on there and bingo bango, you've got yourself um, a place that you can cook stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and light this and set up the other two. I've got the silver or the copper one. This one has fondue fuel in it. This one has methanol in it. And this one has isopropyl alcohol 99%. So this is this one. This is was fondue fuel. I put um, methanol in here, but this is the fondue fuel and methanol. So I'll set these up and light them and I'll be right back. As you can see, the alcohol one <laughs> burns very high and very flamey. Uh, this is the methanol right here. And of course, this is the um, fondue fuel. You'll notice that the new stoves um, don't start going through their little, the little holes uh, for a long time. Um, fortunately, I bought these stoves for the stands, not for the stoves, because even my homemade can stove that I made um, started up way before. And it doesn't matter what fuel. I tried all three fuels in these new stoves, and um, it takes a very long time for it to start going through the little holes. A long time. Um, this one, of course, is working good. So, like, all three of them are lit now. And you see the stands are going to be really handy for, um, for pots. All right, so I'll use a, the homemade one because that's working the best. So, frying pan. No problem. Stable and stays lit. small cup no problem and coffee pot no problem so these have been lit actually I, I stopped the video twice to get the the cups and stuff and so it's been it's been going now for probably three or four minutes this one's working good this one's working good, and this one still has not caught the little holes. It does eventually, but I mean, your water would be almost boiled by then. Uh, thank goodness I got them for the for the little stands, because these stands are great. I mean, you could put this, this little homemade can and this stand in your pocket, and you've got yourself a stove with a little tiny uh, container of fuel. You've got yourself a stove uh, that you can uh, heat stuff up with, which is awesome. I'll uh, stop the video and start it again when this one finally decides to do its thing because it'll probably be another two or three minutes. All right, so it's starting. As you can see, they're starting to go without too much problem. And that took probably four minutes, maybe more, for it to finally work. So wouldn't recommend the stoves, just really cool stands. The best one is this homemade one. Like that sound that you're hearing, that's the pressure from this homemade Diet Coke can stove. There's no pressure at all with this one. Good flame, but no pressure, no pressure, and lots of pressure. 
homemade can. But yeah, now you can see it's actually starting to go. And it'll probably take another minute or two to it to, for it to actually start looking like that. Weird. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, I thought it was a really cool uh, idea to have those little stands because, like I said, chuck that little stove in your pocket with a little thing of fuel in that stand and you've got yourself a, a cook stove that weighs, well, less than a tin can. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. You have a great day and thank you for subscribing if you have. If you haven't, click that subscribe button and uh, you guys have a great day.